Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 Aztec Aggression. Uh, we are winning this war. It's taking quite a bit of time. We have just 0.6 more war score. It's going to take two months to accomplish. I've always wondered why they decided to make the war score tick up at 0.4 per tick. Because it's not... You know, 0.4 does not go into 25, evenly. 0.4... It's just, why? Why Why 0.4? Why not 1? Why not 0.5? Why not 0.1? Like, why not... Why 0.4? Just... I mean, let's just make it 0.437, for example. I mean, we'll just pick a random number. It's one of those things that just bugs me. Alright. Uzbek has declared war. Something's going on with Najd. Oh yeah, that's right. People wanted me to look around the world, and I totally forgot to actually do that. Ming is uh, alive and huge. You're huge. I don't know who the hell Ava is. Ahmedagar. jean Pur lives. Golconda. Spain. Orissa still exists. No Timurids. Well, Timurids, they exist, but, you know, it's mostly Persia and Khorasan. Georgia actually lives. Crazy. And didn't I see, like, the knights recently? I thought that the knights still existed. I don't know where they are. Let's, let's just do this. Knights. The knights. The knights exist. They're right here. Wow. And then Tunis is quite strong. Songhai exists. Mutapa, who normally starts down here, ate Kilwa. And Warsongali, which normally is just this tiny little thing that dies, is alive too. That's really quite cool. And Najd has been losing quite a bit of land to Hejaz and Persia. But they will, uh, we'll see. Okay, um, anytime you want to stop being enthusiastic, Spain. Maybe we could just get like a war is stalled modifier. And then they'll end the war. No? Maybe not? Alright, we're gonna risk it. We're just gonna start prote protecting trade in the Caribbean. And we'll queue up even more boats. Let's try building them like here. And then let's try... Now, see, it's still going to try to use them on that side. I don't like that. Alright, so, like, do you have any boats out here, Spain? You do not. Most of your trade power just comes from transfers from traders downstream. So what we need to do is get a crap ton of trade power in the Caribbean and then embargo Spain. Embargoes on the Spain embargoes us. We're at war. We will definitely be rivaling Spain. Um, didn't I secure an alliance? Yeah, we have an alliance with Austria. Let's, um, top off opinions with him. Other than that... France has us rivaled. You know, I wouldn't mind being allies with France, actually. Let's improve with them, just to see if they want to not rival me. I mean, we're gonna probably end up at war with them anyway, but I have spare diplomats. There's really no reason not to give it a shot. We caught caught fabricating. Sad times. French Louisiana is improving relations with us. They're threatened. We now have 30 war score. We're maxed out on the ticking war score. Enthusiasm is just about to slip down into medium. All I can really hope for is a white piece. Or just something simple. Concession of defeat, maybe. That doesn't seem very likely. 70% unity. Not very good. Alright, we can afford to wait at least a couple more weeks. Uh-oh. Our navy's engaged. Okay. That <laughs> scared me. I thought that was going to be like the Spanish fleet. And it was going to crush us. So, um, did we, did we actually get up to 
up here? No, so I should I should really still probably send some more boats up there, but 68's pretty good, I guess. Maybe we even take a couple boats from here. Oh, we're suddenly at 71%. I thought we were at 80... still 80%. France has boats out here now, too. That's why. Alright, well, we'll keep all the boats there then. As long as we stay above 75%, I feel pretty good. Being over the naval force limits now costing us 11 ducats, but our trade income is probably going to continue to go up to, to match the increased cost. We have 300,000 manpower. Alright, Great Britain's trying to colonize this. We're going to finish another colony up here. Darn it. Chinook is a long travel time, but I guess we'll take it anyway. AI has it so easy with colonization. Never need to protect the colonies, they just don't even worry about it. Hmm, I wonder if killing that army would help out. I really don't want to wait for length of war to tick down all the way down to zero. What is that, like one per month I think? That's another two years we've got to wait. If we were to kill some of the troops, the relative strength of the alliance would change and then maybe we could get them to peace out a little bit earlier. I bet my transports could could get some some decent troops down there. Let's try it out. I have quite a bit of unrest in a few provinces. Yeah, there's going to be a rebellion up here. Hmm. I'd really like these cores to finish first. Can we afford to put that one off a little bit? Eh. No. I'm just not convinced that these, these 13 men are going to be able to take care of it. If I have to cross a straight, it's going to be a pain. Oh well, I mean, it is, it's just going to be what it is. Slightly over the land force limit. I don't know what it is, I feel like that's not 50-50. It seems like it. we're very frequently putting off the rebellion. Every time I've taken it, like the last three or four times, it's been successful. So, whatever. Again, Caribbean. Up to 4% control here. Wow. That's not much. This is 4% here and 5% here. Hmm. Which one's correct? France decided nationalism. Why, um, why, why is it saying Aztec and we have none? I've got two fleets protecting trade. Why are you guys all repairing right now? Oh, of course you are. Just to confuse me. Well, let's um, see if we can kill that Spanish army. Spanish colony army. We're not going to fight Spain proper. We're just going to fight his little friend. I know there was an army. I'm thinking it's over in the capital. So if we can, we'll just land 20 in the in the hills. Yep, there's that rebellion. Alright, fortunately it didn't go in the Haida, so we don't have to worry about the strait. And this army is probably going to be large enough, I think, to deal with both armies, both rebellions. There is a strait here, and he does have three maneuver. So we're going to have a minus two penalty. Let's stay in control territory to work full strength. And then we'll go fight. I'm 
Try to get a couple more men up that way. And yes, we were successfully able to land some troops. So assuming he's got a 20 stack, I'm still going to go pick up a few more men. Let's just do... Um, auto fleet transport. Now that the leader's already over there. And again, the whole purpose of this is just to try to make sure this war ends in a reasonable amount of time instead of having to wait another 20 months to get that length of war down to negative. I think we'll go on the army with 40. That wall got breached pretty quick. Twenty-eight percent. Come on. Boo. Oh, great. That means that we're going to have revolt risk again. Independence for Huron. Is there any way I can balance these guys out a little bit? Need just a couple more men to actually get it down. Alright, let's get ready to move on this. It's bad terrain all around. And he might be moving. Yeah, I had a feeling. If I did that, he'd go for one. Let's just wait till he's there. No, no matter which way I go, he's gonna want to be on it. So let's just go with a couple, a couple fewer troops, and now we'll march in. Autonomy decreased has expired. Well, that's useful. It's good. It's gonna be too fast, and I'm not gonna use forced march. Eighteenth, nineteenth. There we go. All right, 27 and 18. Despite the minus one penalty, I think we're going to be pretty good here. We've got better discipline. We've got better morale by a ton. And that's 0.5 war score. But more importantly, this next fight should be another 0.5 war score, and it should reduce relative strength of the alliance. Right now, relative strength of the alliance is at 5, negative 5. Another 0.7. And it didn't change it at all. Interesting. That might take a month update. I'm not sure. Alright, land maintenance modifier, sure. Yeah, okay, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't always always work. It certainly felt like it did. Alright. I think I can wait. <laughs> We're still going to have to siege it down, I think. I'm really tired of those events, though. They shouldn't happen anymore. Stick with the level one guy. I know we have horrible leader, but... The money... I want the money so we can do boats. I don't even really care how much they cost. I just want to steal money from Spain. Yeah, 
You think this thing will let us get all the way down there? They will actually arrive in... Yep, September 19th. And this bastard game lied to me and did it in a different province. Very well. All right, come on, Portuguese. Like, like, what do you, what do you want? What do you want? Just, just enforce peace. How much you want to bet? Like, they could actually get a yes right now out of them. Uh, oops. Forgot about that one, didn't I? Oops, oops. Crap. We were still coring that, too. Damn it! Stupid. I forget about rebels. They're just tricky. Rebels are, rebels are tricky. That was a fairly straightforward battle. Thanks there, Portuguese Mexico. Alright. Of course. These people don't want to be they just they don't want to be liberated. Liberated from those stupid Europeans. No, actually, killing that army, it, it had no effect whatsoever on relative strength of the alliance. I'm kind of surprised. We did get, like, one war score from battles, but... That seems so minor. Looks like we're going to have to use transports again. All convenient. Even you're starting to lose enthusiasm. Come on, peace him out. I feel like I should be the war leader. I should have taken over as, like, the guy. Since I'm way stronger. And the only reason they rebelled... Oh, awesome! We're, we're about to arrive there and I just took the mission. Sweet. Alright. Ugh, come on, DDR Drake, stop it with the exploits and making it so I can't declare war. I should have gone for that one, but... But I didn't, so... Why is this fleet not doing things? Oh, are you- you're actually protecting trade, but you're just staying still? Is that right? Yeah, we're getting full trade part on the boats, don't even have to move. That's kind of weird. Alright, so we move on the Dutch Patriots. Spain is finally down to one enthusiasm, and... Nope. I didn't even see that one. So we got Dutch Patriots on both sides of us. Can 
avoid the straight crossing due to our maneuver. So easy fight. Eventually, the nationalism will be gone on these things anyway. There's really no reason to really be that concerned about it. Let's bring you guys back to... here. Let's get you guys protecting trade in the Caribbean. Hey, we actually have the most trade power in the Caribbean right now. Can that, can that be true? Is that true? Oh my gosh, 38% control! These boats are starting to add up. So we are starting to bleed money north. Eighty-four ducats a month now from from trade income. We're still not quite as high as Spain is on income. They're still making 104, more than I am, but it's starting to edge in that direction. They've got 7,000 ducats. Wow. They don't even know what to do with all their money. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to build more ships. Still have the Huron Nationalists to deal with. Catholic Zealots. Are we ever going to finish this conversion? May of 05. Hmm. I feel like I'm just like stuck in this protracted, prolonged, whatever you'd call it, Regency Council. I mean, they're down to low. What, what... What the... Alright. I'm curious. I'm, re I'm just I'm really curious here. Portuguese Mexico. You're the war leader. Okay. From your perspective, they would accept a white peace. They would expect Spain will grant independence. They would they would accept Spanish La Plata will cede land to people. People will see. I mean, they will take. There's all kinds of crap that you can take, and yet you're not sending any offers. Why not? What the hell is wrong with you? All right, we'll give them a year, and if they don't send a peace offer, I'm just going to send a suggested demands. This is just ridiculous. The very first thing they should do is just accept any peace deal which gives them independence. Like, that's the whole purpose of the war. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what your thoughts are. I, I just feel that the, the AI is just I abysmal. They're just idiots. Um, sorry, Wiz, but it's true. I mean, just look at that. What? 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 They want more land? They, <laughs> they expect Spain to, like, give them part of Portugal or something? Come on. Just peace out. Alright, see you soon.